come down to the, the 618, then I wouldn't expect a proper amazing bounce. Obviously, we <laughs>
honestly do enjoy this game. I'm, I'm gonna start slowing them down a bit more now and go back to my sort of trading where you know I, I kind of miss trading throughout the day. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna be slowing down the lessons as as we reach out to Christmas. So we are going into the new year. I, I said to myself I'd take a break from, from around you know the start of the time to around the second of January. It's when I'm going back into the stock market, it's when I'm going back properly into trading, you know, more heavily. Um, so today, yeah, I'm, I'm probably still taking more lessons. So it's, it's another time where I'm not too interested in scalping this range at the moment. Um, but I, that's something that I keep my eye on if I was just trading, okay? Uh, and in, in terms of support, I mean, yeah, you have to look again. In, in this region, there's not much. Obviously, the six one. Okay? And now we're obviously looking at the wave five. Okay, and there's a few ways that you can be looking at this wave five. Obviously, as we're speaking, it's moving down, and and this is the the resistance that I've highlighted for you all, where we obviously are seeing the resistance previously from here, but more recently too, where we are we're trying to hold this region as support. Okay, and support obviously flips into re resistance. And what was key for me was this wick, the upper wick. If we had closed above here, and that would be great for me was that we actually wicked above the resistance and didn't get a close fully above the resistance okay you could even look at it like a little bit like this where you're getting, including this whole level where you're including more wicks here okay so you know the, the resistance up to this two three to uh, the two three six obviously when you're coming back up these regions do act as uh, resistance again okay so you always want to protect yourself from a tru truncated fifth in my opinion you, you want to just try and protect yourself from a truncated fifth because we saw such a strong wave three up here, okay, when you see a very strong wave three, and if you're looking at it in Fibonacci terms, you know, this was an unreal wave three up, okay, where it's, you know, it's hitting above the two, uh, above a four extension target. So it was just in terms of Fibonacci, you know.
to get and I totally forgot I said I'd read that out. Uh, so just so you're <laughs> just so you're aware, the 382 was sitting at 3,000 and the 618 was sitting at 3,716. Okay, and we're currently sitting at a price of 3,000. And the resistance that I'm looking at is sat at around 3,800. And hopefully as I come back, you know, this is the thing, when, when I'm back trading, I trade heavily throughout the day and then I take my evenings off and that's when I can go back to doing live videos. So, so hopefully, you know, after the new year, things will go back to normal when everything will sort of be, uh, uh, you know, it, it, <laughs> funny and enough karma. Um, but um, yeah, I, I really do hope you've enjoyed this video and you've taken something beneficially from it, okay? Um, you know, just always... What I can say is, is to eliminate any sort of stress or any sort of emotion. It's just be really concerned with what the resistance is. When, when it was coming down here and a lot of people I saw worrying, you know, I was confident in this 618 and that's why I'm entering into a long position. Uh, and obviously, yeah, it worked out pretty nicely. Um, you know, that, that, that just comes with time and confidence um, in your tra own trading ability. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm wrapping up the video now. I will try and cover my overall count tomorrow for you all. That's it. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Thank you for the support. Uh, and yeah, love you all. Cheers. <laughs>